Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm just gonna kind of be sitting here talking to you guys, giving you some ideas about what you can do this fall. Fall is my favorite time of year. Same with my boyfriend, we love the fall, love decorating for fall. So, um, I wanted to give you guys some ideas that you can do to vamp up your fall experience this year in 2017. So if you would like to know, then just okay, keep on watching. So some of the things that I like to do for the fall is decorate. You can definitely go to your local home goods, your local Michaels or AC Moore arts and crafts store. And what I like to do is go to those stores and make your own crafts for the fall. Buy orange and browns and red paints and paint something make something your own especially if you have your own home or your own apartment make something that's yours decorate it with the people your family write everybody write kids names on it write your spouse's name on it or whatever just decorate it how you want but they also have really great pieces at michael's as well which is really nice if you're not into being arts and craftsy or if you just don't have the time for that they have come out with so much new stuff um, a lot of really rustic, um, I guess you could call it farm pieces, um, which I like a lot. Uh, I think it's very homey. I think it's very inviting, um, especially with the new white colored pumpkins and then they have the olive green colored pumpkins, obviously fake pumpkins, for like the centerpiece in your table. I think that is a beautiful idea. Um, yeah, that is what I really like to do for the fall. And especially when like Halloween comes around, um, I like to decorate, uh, my room with things like that. Um, so this year, since I spend pretty much my, most of my time is spent here at my boyfriend's house, I, um, I bought, I went to a local store. I'm not sure if this store is like, I don't want to say worldwide, but like United States wide or whatever. It might just be East Coast, but um, it is a store called Country Junction. And Country Junction is um, considered the world's largest general store. It has two floors. Um, it has anything you can think of to food, candy, uh, candles, toys, dogs, cats, anything you can think of. There's animals, petting zoo. It's insane. It's awesome. But it also has a huge, huge, huge selection for Halloween stuff. So to start, I bought, um, if you could see the lights behind me, they're just, they look like regular Christmas lights. Um, I bought lights like this, but for Halloween, there's a green, there's an orange and purple and black colored lights all mixed together in one thing like this um so yeah i bought those and what i'm gonna do is we're going to try to hang them from the floor up one side of the wall up to the next side of the wall and down so when you walk in the room you see the entire from like behind the bed as like a huge bed frame looking type of thing um so what you're gonna see when you walk in is just the entire wall lit up like that. And I also wanna go back because I wanted to get something for um, the um, like bedside table, we could put something on it, and then um, the door. I wanted to get really something really scary for the door. Just something you can tape up and easy to take down, nothing like crazy. Um, but yeah, there's that, and then um, there's food. Everybody loves food for the fall. Number one food for the fall is pumpkin pie. Now that is iffy because not a lot of people like pumpkin pie. Um, I personally love pumpkin pie just because I think that the cinnamon and the pumpkin mixed together is very fall. It just brings it all together. Um, but then you have hot chocolate and who doesn't love hot chocolate? Now with hot chocolate, I make hot chocolate a certain way. Everybody makes hot chocolate different. Um, the way I like to make it actually is with the Swiss Miss packets. I put two, for one person I use two packets just because I like it extra um, chocolatey. I put two Swiss Miss packets into a pot on the stove with about like two cups of water, one to two cups of water, or not water, 
ew, I hate water with um, hot chocolate. That's probably why I said that. With milk, whole milk, fresh whole milk. Don't want 2%, don't want that 1%, blah, blah, blah. I want whole milk. But if you're lactose intolerant, obviously you're gonna have to substitute for the whole milk, which is fine. Um, but I like it with whole milk. And then I put in about a little bit of a table, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract into it. And then once that is all done, you stir it up, let it heat up really hot, pour it into a mug, whipped cream on top with any kind of like orange sprinkle or brown sprinkle on the top. Tastes delicious. And then we have candy apples. That's another thing you can also get from the craft store is candy apple makers at the craft store. There's It comes in like a little kit. You can buy it and make them at home. Obviously you have to get the apples from an outside source like your local food market or a local farm. Um, but it's just a nice activity to do with your loved ones during the fall season. Um, then we have attractions. Now, whether you like scary things or not scary things, it really just depends on the type of person you are. So, I like scary things. Um, Gonzalo likes scary things. We're obsessed with scary things. So, um, we do a lot of haunted attractions. Now, here in the Upper Northeast, there's a lot of them. Um, there is um, haunted hotels. We live near Philly, so it's like really oriented around Philly. There's the Eastern State Penitentiary in Philly that you can visit, which is like an overnight thing. They have a um, attraction called Reaper's Revenge in Scranton. There's just a whole bunch of attractions like corn mazes you can go to, anything like that. Um, just research it. Get on Google and type in fall activities in my neighborhood or near me and I guarantee you something will pop up and it'll be just so much fun and you'll really enjoy it and it really brings out the season. And the next thing I want to talk about is carving pumpkins. Carving pumpkins is like the, like the do-all for me. I think that's really when I realized that it's fall once I've carved a pumpkin. Now, when I met my boyfriend, he somehow has never carved a pumpkin before. So I had to, you know, do that with him because that was just shocking to me. But yes, we carved our pumpkins and it was so much fun last year. I can't wait to do it again this year because it's just something fun to do with your family. And um, once you take out the seeds, you can bake the seeds. We're doing that this year. Um, they're really tasty to eat with a lot of salts. Not good for you, obviously, but they taste good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's another activity that's really fun. And there is another activity, shopping. I think shopping is a very fun activity, especially in the beauty community. There's so many fall clothing hauls out there from Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, Fashion Nova, ASOS, Misguided, Forget It. Everywhere, every place has fall clothing out. Go check it out. And it just, again, whatever you're wearing, it's just going to bring you into the spirit. I bought a flannel recently from Forever 21. Every time I put it on, I'm like, I want a hot chocolate. I want to go get some pumpkin pie. I want to go to a cord maze. I want to do this. I want to do that. So it just really puts you in the spirit. And I think it's really important um, nowadays to stay really connected to your loved ones. Um, I think it's important to have a conversation. I think it's important to put the phones away. I think it's important to just stay connected. Don't lose that connection. Don't ever stop talking. Even if it's about something stupid or something small, it's a conversation. Have that conversation with someone that you love and your family members. Don't lose that connection. And I think the holiday season is really a good time for all of us to come together and just be who we know we are together. And for me personally, I think it's really important to um, keep, sorry, I'm itchy. It's hot, I'm sweating. Okay, anyway, for me, I think it's really important to stay connected to the ones you love because if you don't, you just stop talking and that's not cool. And you wanna just keep talking. 
keep talking to them even if it's about nothing just talk to them because that lets the other person know they want to talk to me they're interested in what i have to say so with that being said keep talking go out and do something with your family and have fun this fall it is not scary well it is scary but it's not <sighs> It's not a bad thing to step out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone brings out new experiences and helps you enjoy life better. And that's what my point to this video is, is to step out of your comfort zone, go do something fun, stop thinking about work right now, this weekend, go out, get your family, get your spouse, get your kids, and go do something fun. Go live life. Don't just, not do it because you've never done it before. That's the reason you need to do it is because you haven't. Go do something you haven't done before and it'll be a tradition with your family, which you'll never regret, especially if it gets passed down the line. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little fall chit chat session with me. I really wanted to share my ideas with you guys on what you guys could do with your families this fall and upcoming holiday seasons if you would like to just to stay connected with everybody and stay having that conversation. I don't think I have anything else to say except make sure you subscribe before you leave and turn on notifications to be notified for when I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And yes, I don't think I have anything else to say except I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!